Hey, people, welcome to uh, Tony's Timepiece Review. This is a follow-up from last night's uh, watchmaking review. I'm sorry, watchmaking that I did um, of my Anthony Burton California 67. I have it on the wrist and uh, woke up this morning and it uh, was running, keeping perfect time. Uh, eventually it won't, it's an automatic watch, so it will eventually lose or gain some time. But the most important thing was the first overnight um, check to make sure when I woke up this morning it was still running. And it was. Um, and it was quite a trial by fire um, because it was made in less than desirable conditions. It, uh, you know, I didn't have lighting in here. It was actually dark. I didn't have any uh, scope loop to get close in when I was putting the hands on the watch. I was using just strong reading glasses, so I was kind of winging it. I had a problem with the hands not lining up, uh, not uh, the hands also touching each other with the second hand. Um, I had some issues with the crown, um, but so far the the hands are still intact. Let me uh, turn this around so you can see it. Uh, the hands are still intact. Nothing's popped off. The crystal's uh, in place. The movement's in place. The crown is in place. Um, and it's running perfectly. So I'm pretty proud of the fact that I was able to get this taken care of. I love the case. Um, I didn't use an inner chapter ring like on my other various California 67s that I made. In the past, I used a chapter ring. In this, in this case, I didn't. So essentially, it still looks real good. Um, I'm pretty proud of it, so I'll keep it in rotation and see if it uh, maintains, which it should now at this point because I did wear it all day today. I don't know if that's glaring or not. But uh, just wanted to give you an update uh, the day after. Again, Anthony Burton Watch Company, my former watch company that I used to own. And I uh, hope you're all having a good Sunday. The approximate time is 1.42 in the afternoon. So peace out. I appreciate it. Thanks.